Well, there's, there's one God. The problem is there's lots of Pharisees. And the Pharisees interpreted the Bible one way. And we go into this, and it's, you can't answer that question in a sound bite. But the fact is, is that when we wanted to know what the Old Testament Hebrew meant, we went to the Pharisees and said, what does this mean? And they have it wrong. It's in there. We go in this in the book, Thy Kingdom Come. We go in the second chapter, I think it's the second chapter. And we've got another book coming out, uh, Blood on the Altar. And it's going to be iconoclastic. It's going to be uh, controversial. But the fact is, is we, we tell you, we show you, we give you. And I've already taken this to other uh, people who supposedly know and said, hey, look. And they say, well, what about this? What about? So we go and take a look. Hebrew is a very unique language. It, it, every letter means something. And you put those letters together and you create a word. Most of the words are three letters long. That's not natural. You can't, uh, you can't interpret this uh, language and even speak this language because there's no vowels. You have to add the vowels in order to speak it. It was meant to be written in its conceptual language. Every single word has an abstract meaning and an actual physical meaning. And you have to understand those both. And it's quite a revelation. When I first revealed this to people, they were, they were stunned. And like I said, I can't go into it all in detail, but the fact is, is uh, uh, stones of the altar, uh, just briefly. In the Hebrew, the same word for a gathering of stones is the same exact word for a gathering of friends. Uh, did did the, uh, the Essenes at the time of Jesus Christ, they didn't participate in the animal sacrifice of the, of the Pharisees. They said that was a fiction and a fraud. Reading the same exact Hebrew, studying the same exact Torah, they came to a completely different conclusion. Were they off the wall? Were they wrong? Or were the Pharisees wrong? Well, we see Christ disagreeing with the Pharisees. And the fact is the Essenes weren't called the Essenes then. That's a name that's been put on them. Nobody even knows where that name came from. There's over 67 different interpretations of where that name came from. They didn't call themselves that. But they were a group that was extremely charitable. Many of their writings had the same exact words that Christ had. Uh, but they weren't a homogeneous group. They had a lot of different things. The fact is the journey towards the kingdom is an individual one. Everybody's got to study, strive, seek. But both, the, like I, I said earlier that Moses said, love thy neighbor as they sell. Jesus is quoting Moses. Where's the, where's the vengeful God? Uh, eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. That's, you don't have to take the eye. You just can't take more than the eye. It's ceiling limits. If he burns down your garage, he owes you a garage. He doesn't owe you a house. If uh, he does damage, you can only take recompense for the damage that he's done. You know, if it was an accident. If it was on purpose, you can, you, there's a penalty fee that you can charge extra. But the reality is they were trying to get justice. Stoning all these people, does it really mean hitting them with rocks? Or does it mean something else? Well, you have to read the book when it comes out. <laughs>